Hi everyone and I hope you are doing well and welcome to my channel. My name is Omid and in this video I want to uh, introduce a useful tool API Ban and uh, share my personal idea about this tool. You know that when you run your SIP server on the internet, a lot of people want to hack it and use your minutes to make money. There are different methods to block them. One of the uh, famous one is fail to ban, a system that uses the Linux IP tables and uh, it will uh, scan the log files and block uh, the traffic from unwanted traffic and the hacker's traffic by analyzing the uh, log files and block them. For example, if someone wants to hack your system and they, s and they try uh, scanning or uh, mm, sending wrong password, for example, for an extension, uh, it can detect it and block it. One of the main problems of this system is uh, actually it's a little uh, CPU consuming. A little or a lot really depends on the traffic that you are managing. Uh, recently I find a video um, from Fred uh, Posner that he introduced and actually they write uh, another system with the name of API Ban. And uh, they claim that in a way, I, I will share the video here, you can uh, check yourself. Uh, the main idea about that is that I don't like fail to ban, that's why we make API ban, and somehow it gives me this idea that, okay, I can replace it. Um, what is it, how it works, the best resource is actually the same video that I will share the link, but uh, in summary, this is how it works. This is your Pebex box. Um, they have implemented some honeypots, and of course, they are not protecting them. Some of the hackers or the SIP hackers wants to hack them. They will uh, get their IP addresses, and there is a web service that you can get this bad IP address and uh, block, uh, block them, so they, they can't attack your system. So this is the idea about that. Um, as I watched this video, I had this uh, question in my mind that how is that possible? Because especially uh, in different locations, um, the hackers may be different. They may be from different IP address and they may not uh, attack your honeypot. So can I replace the fail to ban with API ban? I did the test. Uh, this is, this is how I test it. First of all, I installed the uh, system. So it's actually, it has a very easy way to install it. You can uh, go to this website, API Ban, request for an API key. You will enter your email address and you will receive the key. Then you can, uh, based on the different systems that you have, uh, you can install the system. I use Go Client. So, it has a very good documentation. You can create a folder. You can download the file. You can put your config, your uh, key in the JSON file, and you can put it in the cron. So what it will do? It will query the API band server, the web service, and it will load a list of bad IP addresses, and it will block them using IP tables. So this is how it works. So this is actually how I tested the system. I put an asterisk box on the internet, and uh, first of all, I didn't install any client uh, or any protection. So I just installed an asterisk, and then I created some SIP extensions, and I published the 5060 port. And I wanted to know how many attacks do I have and how many unique attacks do I have from which IP addresses. Uh, I wrote a Python script that actually it analyzed my uh, full uh, log, uh, let me just open it, it analyzes, I will share in my blog, it will uh, get the uh, log file, it will check the IP addresses and it will save in my database. So this is the result for actually 16 of December, for 15 to 16 of December. And if I want to show you the infrastructure, this is my uh, database and this is the table. So about uh, in 24 hours, I had about 1 million attacks. And this 1 million attacks came from 
uh, if I distinct, came from 25 unique IP addresses. So 25 hackers, or I don't know, one hacker from 25 IPs wants to hack my system, my asterisk box. This is the result without API ban. So I'm not using fail to ban, and I want to replace with the API ban. I install the API ban, I run it, I put it, I put my, uh, actually I put the script in my cron job, and as you can see, it's running, and it's blocking the IP addresses that I'm getting from the API ban uh, web service. This is the list of the APIs that is already blocked. So I put it from last night to now, and uh, let me stop my asterisk. because I don't want more attacks to come, then uh, I will copy my var log asterisk full file here. So first of all, how much is the file? It's 12 meg. And then, of course, I think when you uh, stop it, you need to copy. OK, that's the file. OK. and. Uh, I want to find the IP addresses and insert to my database because now my database about one about 25 different IP address it was without protection. So I will load now the IP addresses cat full pipe to find my IP addresses by as as you can see it's uh, inserting all the IP addresses to my server. So these first of all it shows that by default, um, it didn't uh, protect 100% because these are all the list of IP addresses that are uh, still able to uh, reach my pubics and try to hack my pubics. So by default, the list these IP addresses were not in the API ban list. So I got my first answer to my question. Is it... Can it be replaced with the fail to ban or any other mechanism to block the hacker's IP addresses? Definitely not. Because this shows a list of IP addresses that are not blocked. Maybe they didn't reach their honeypot. Maybe because the geographical location, maybe their honeypots are in different places, not in maybe Malaysia or in the Asia. And uh, this shows that, OK, we cannot replace fail to ban, definitely. But let's see how it will help. If it helps uh, by default, without API ban, I had about 1 million hack attempts from 25 different IP addresses. Uh, it will take a while, so let me pause the video and come back to you when it is all inserted. My database, let's see. Let's see the result. Ah, I'm not sure. MySQL, use IP ban, and let's see, this time that is 17. How many hack attempts did we have? So it is about 100,000. So uh, that's perfect because it shows that a lot of hackers are the same hackers who are att attacking the SIP servers. And in API ban could uh, block actually, uh, yeah, it's a lot, because the other one was about 1,200,000, uh, 200,000, but this is just 100,000. So it blocks a lot. Um, that's That's really... So th this is this proves that you need the system, and you need to use it definitely. But and let's see how many distinct IP do did we have? Uh, bad IPs and let's see. And they called from twenty one IPs. So um, yes. So this is my. This is my idea. It's a useful tool. You can use it. Definitely it will help because then you have less attacks to your system. But can it be used alone? 
And can it be re replaced fail to ban or any other mechanisms to actually check your logs and uh, block them, block directly the attacks that are coming to your pivx and didn't reach the honeypots? Uh, no, we cannot just use API ban. We need definitely another system to work with the uh, API ban as well. So both of them can give you a better protection. And uh, you can solve somehow the CPU cycle issue with the fail to ban because you have less attacks and you have uh, a smaller lock files to be processed. So yes, that's it. Definitely I will use API ban but definitely I won't use it alone. Thank you and thank you for the writer and uh, uh, everyone who uh, contributed in this project. It's a really cool project. I really like it, the documentation, everything about this project, I like it. And this was my idea. Thank you.